Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 73, NASDAQ up 39, SP's off one and a half. Gold, gold contract down $3.20, trading at 2,039 an ounce. We have silver down uh, 35 cents, $24.55 an ounce. Light sweet crew down 52 cents, $72.52 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note up 22 ticks, trading 110.29, the 30 year up a full point, plus 25 ticks at 119. 11 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up by 342 ticks trading 104.053. Euro at 107. The yen's at 147. British pounds at 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get a sideways market out here today. S&P rejected lower price yesterday, had lighter volume. What you get out here today is, you know, you get a side, we get an inside day. So you're just inside the bar from yesterday, you still get light volume, there's just no sellers here. Now that being said, what we do have is those two big, that big gap. <laughs> that gap is just sitting there, man. And the gap, you know, is, is quite a big gap. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX. And I'm going to be back to that gap in the SPY in two seconds here. I just want to show you what the Qs have already done. So the Qs came down yesterday into the, the top of the gap, and they had an expansion of volume. So when you do that, you have an expansion of volume. You get down, it's like, okay, wants to fill the gap, right? Yesterday, we come down on 54 million. You're going up today on 34. It's probably setting up a small ABC structure down, particularly because this is the number. Now, take a look at this. This is the composite volume number from yesterday. This is a big number, folks, okay? 6.2, 6.3 billion shares we did. If, you, if, you, if you're watching my screen here, you're going to see that this, this screen goes back, what, 7, 4, 5, 15, 30, 45 days, 45 trading days, that is, okay? And it's, that's two, two months. It's, it averages out 21 trading days. You don't, you don't see a 6 billion. So the point is, is that the, when the NDX and the NASDAQ start moving like this, more than likely what you're going to do is you're going to basically fill that gap. Because yesterday, the composite didn't get down to the gap, but that thing is just sitting there waiting to get filled. Now, divergence, it's huge. Why? Because uh, the, the notes and bonds just refuse to go lower. They want higher price, lower yield. And that, in, in particular, okay, should put a hammer in, continue to put a hammering on the dollar. You can see that the way this is set up right now, if I do TY1, watch this. We'll put this up on a generic one. Oh, no, I know what I'm going to do. Yeah, this is, this is cool. A 10-year yield. Wait till you see this. This is, this is the one. Okay. So... I get the 10-year yield up, right? And what you're going to see here, we're at 4.17, right? Well, see the high up here? 5.01, okay? Now, when we take a look at this, what you're going to see, you know, there's, there's, you're coming into, you know, you should be coming into some support. That being said, my take is that we're going all the way down to the very bottom of this consolidation, and if that's what we're doing, you're going to be at a 3.6. Let me pull this back a little bit more, actually. This has been a one-way move, man, but it makes sense because they, they, it, it went way too high anyway. So let me just see something. Oh, this is cool. Hey, check this out, man. 
This is really a trip. We're inside the lower range right now. Yeah. Once you come under 4.3, you're in the lower range, and that means you can actually get to, where do you hear this? Are you kidding me? Is that 3.2? Yeah, 3.2. So here, check this out, man. This is amazing. So it's just like a stock chart, man, except that what, what does happen is notes and bonds, when they start trending, they trend like crazy. So you can see you got in the lower range. We're, we're in the lower range right now. That's saying that 3.2 on the 10-year is game. That's pretty intense. Gold. Let's go take a look at the gold contract out here. So what we had with gold, we hit the 21.5230. Right now, this is what's kind of cool here. See, we had to get to a low low because of the amount of volume. Because what we had done Sunday night to Monday, now you have a high volume high, but yet it's like okay, you gave it up, so now you got a high volume, not low, but bottom line is what I always like to see is that you get under a high volume period, okay, which we've done today. Now, you don't have a rejection of lower price yet. So this is a start, though. This is a start, you know. Uh, what you'd be looking for right now if you're in the gold market or silver market or the metal market in general, what you're looking for, we have the contraction of volume, which is great. Now what you need is that you need the rejection of lower price. So we'll see how that you know that's going to work out. I suspect it is though. I like I like how gold's trading right now. And we go to the silver market. We take a look at silver. Now silver didn't have the run that gold had, which is pretty amazing actually. Okay, so silver's coming right back to its breakout area. This is kind of let's see how this is shaking out. That <laughs> silver contract man is something else. Okay, so. But you need a rejection of lower price, too, which we don't have yet. But you can see, you know, you have sellers. You have a lot less sellers. And now what you need is a rejection of lower price. Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 67. NASDAQ's up 45. S&P's the flat. Stay right there, folks. Coming back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We're going to ride that wave.